namely that antidepressants often do not do what they promise and are in fact causing harm to many. Uh, Dr. Sick Steve Hoxie is suing tired. over Obamacare's employer mandate. It's time for a wellness time revolution. A wellness revolution. Brought to you by Hoxie Health and Wellness Center. Honest discussion on maintaining health and wellness naturally to enjoy a better quality of life. He's the doctor fighting to let you keep your doctor. In. Now, Dr. Stephen Hoxie. Welcome back to Dr. Hoetze's Wellness Revolution. I'm Stacey Banfield here with Dr. Stephen Hoetze, founder of the Hoetze Health and Wellness Center. So glad to have you back with us. And always as a reminder, you can download our podcasts at hoetzepodcast.com. That's H-O-T-Z-E podcast.com. All right, the topic today, this was something that shocked me when I was in my 30s, uh, when I first actually came to the center. And I didn't think I had this issue because it's silent and it's osteopenia, osteoporosis. And when I found out I had bone loss in my 30s, I that was a that was a difficult day for me because I didn't think I thought, well, I'm so young. How can I possibly have something like this? And so there are a lot of people out there who right now are experiencing bone loss, but you're never going to know it until you get tested. So, Dr. Hosey, why don't you share with the audience more about osteopenia and osteoporosis? Well, of course, I think most Educated people have heard the term osteoporosis. Maybe you aren't familiar with the term osteopenia. It's just degree of bone loss. Osteoporosis mm -hmm. means porous bones. Okay? They've lost their density. They're brittle. They're easily broken. Osteopenia means moderate bone loss. It's, the, it's a degree. So if you go from here having good bones, osteopenia, you've got some moderate bone loss. and osteoporosis, you have severe bone loss. Obviously, the more severe the bone loss, the more likely you are to develop a fracture of your bones. And most commonly, the bone that fractures is the hip bone because women, commonly women, it happens in men as well, but Women tend to have this problem more frequently, but a slip and a fall, mm -hmm. fall on their hip. If the hip is osteoporotic, it's going to fracture. And interestingly enough, the incidence of hip fracture compared to breast cancer, uterine cancer, and ovarian cancer all combined is greater than those three cancers combined. It's a very serious problem. And about 25% of the women are mm -hmm. individuals, could be males too, who fracture their hip after the age of 50. Mm -hmm, 25% mm -hmm. don't live out the next year of their lives. And it used to be much higher than that before we had, before we had, we could put, you know, artificial hips into the legs, you know, it used to be 40 or 50 years ago, you had to be, if you fractured your hip, you were up in a brace and your leg was extended. You laid in the bed there for literally months while mm. we're under traction. You Miserable. Had, you had traction. And commonly, they would get blood clots and they would mm -hmm. die. And so it was very common for people. It used to be, you know, if a woman in her 60s or 70s fractured her hip, you know, she was a goner. I mean, she was going to mm -hmm. die. There was just nothing basically that could do. Eventually, she would die very quickly. But now with, uh, with new... Uh, prosthesis we have for hips and various things that that's helpful of course any bone can fracture you know you know a person can slip on their osteoporotic or osteopenia you can slip even when you got healthy bones slip fall on your wrists and mm -hmm. fracture those but it happens obviously much more commonly in an individual that has bone loss now or significant bone loss with osteoporosis now the bones are strength or a function of several different items. I want to cover that. First, progesterone, which is one of the female hormones, primarily a female hormone, although males make a little progesterone. Women during their menstrual cycle make estrogen and progesterone. They balance each other out. Both of these hormones are important for bone metabolism, the destruction and recreation of bone. Our bone turns over constantly. We have the breakdown of bone, and then we have the rebuilding of bone, osteogenesis, and progesterone helps, and estrogen both help protect the bone and help with the bone metabolism. As women march through their menstrual life and make lower and lower levels of these two important hormones that 
have an important and uh, significant impact on bone uh, density as their levels go down and eventually go through the change of life where they no longer make those, then that's when women be- begin to have a se- uh, development of more severe bone loss where they become severely osteopenic and then osteoporotic. So maintaining good healthy levels of progesterone and estrogen have proven to be helpful in maintaining good bone strength. Some other things you can do to maintain bone health, and I think the hormones are very, very important. Let me say that. And in men, testosterone is the key hormone. In men, and men keep their testosterone levels longer than women keep their female hormone levels. So a male will continue, even though his testosterone levels will decline over time, he's still making them, even in his 60s and 70s, at a much lower rate than he did in his 20s, of course. But Even men, as they start to get osteopenic, if we replenish their testosterone, we can re-strengthen their and their bones can begin to develop again and we can overcome that osteoporosis and osteopenia and get back to normal bone growth again. Other things that can be helpful are weight bearing, exercises, Mm -hmm. bearing weights, Mm -hmm. lifting weights. Anytime you put weight on the bone, the bone is going to be stimulated to regenerate itself. So you might consider doing that. The other things that are important are good, healthy eating. All of health is based first on good, healthy nutrition. So healthy vegetables are very important. Eliminating a simple carb, high sugar diet is very important because that creates inflammation in the body. You want to be on good, healthy green vegetables. And interestingly enough, green vegetables, anything green contains calcium in it. And that's important for your bones because your bones are made up of calcium and magnesium. And so it's important for that. You want to uh, also, point five, you want to stay away from soft drinks like Cokes Mm -hmm. and Sprites and Dr. Peppers or Diet Cokes, any kind of soft drink, because they're acidic and that will leach calcium out of the bones. Another thing that's very important for bone health is vitamin D. Now, vitamin D, we have found, and studies around the nation have found that at least 80 to 90 percent of individuals in America have very, very low vitamin D levels. And vitamin D is very important for bone metabolism. So, we, I take, for instance, 10,000, no, I take Mm -hmm. Mm 15,000 units of vitamin D daily to get my levels up into a good level. The range goes anywhere from 20 to 100, and you want to get it up into the range of 70 or 75, 80. Get it up to 100. It's Mm -hmm. fine. It's not going to hurt you. It's going to be healthy for you, not only in your bones, but in your immune system and heart health. Vitamin D is very, very important. So it's important if you've got low vitamin D levels and you've got osteoporosis or osteopenia, you sure want to make sure you've got good vitamin D levels. That will help. Another important vitamin is vitamin K. Vitamin K has numerous effects. It helps diminish blood clotting. It helps thin out the blood. It helps pull calcium out of the arteries. But it also helps rebuild the bones. So vitamin K is very important for that. And finally, you want to avoid cigarette smoking and limit your Mm -hmm. intake of afternoon libations or cocktails. (laughs) So both these can be harmful to bone to bone uh, metabolism and bone growth. What we found at the OC Health and Wellness Center is those individuals who've come in and who have had osteopenia or osteoporosis. I don't know what what you have done. Have you had you have you bone, had your bone density done and what what's happened? Yeah, so it actually reversed, and that was after I was put on progesterone and vitamin D, and it was amazing. So I mean, it was You're great to be happy now. I feel like happy about that. Absolutely. <laughs> And I'll mention something. The reason we see in many young women we see osteopenia Mm -hmm. is because many of them have been on birth control pills for a number of years, Mm, maybe 10 years, 10 or 15 years. Mm -hmm. And when they're on birth control pills, it shuts down the function of the ovaries. You don't make your natural progesterone or natural estrogen. These are counterfeit hormones that are in the birth control pills. They're not natural. So they turn off the production of your natural hormones and birth control pills, the counterfeit hormones and birth control pills don't stimulate bone growth. So that's why we see in many younger women that you wouldn't expect it, we see them um, having osteop- 
leukemia routinely in their 30s because they've been on birth control pills. Mm -hmm. So if you're on birth control pills, know that that can be a problem. Right. And I was actually, I'll say it, I was on birth control pills when I was younger too. So, I mean, these are the things that they don't tell you about. They just put you on these things and then you find out it affects down the line. So yeah. definitely, Dr. Hoodsey, that was such great information. And I know that it reached just the right people. So yeah, I do want to mention too, Yes, oftentimes, now when you have osteopenia and osteoporosis, obviously here at the Hoodsey Health and Wellness Center, we're mm -hmm. going to treat it naturally. We're going mm -hmm. to use natural estrogen, mm -hmm. we're going to use natural progesterone, mm -hmm. we're going to use vitamin D, vitamin K, we're going to get you Absolutely. on a good healthy eating program and uh, encourage some weight bearing activities, mm -hmm. those sort of things, get you off soda water and all that. And so we're going to make some natural recommend, recommendations for natural approaches to regaining bone health, which we found works fine. Mm -hmm. You go to a conventional doctor, they're going to put you on what are known as by phosphonates like Fosamax and let me give you a few names of those. One of those. Well, Fosamax is what I'm, we don't use them, so I can't remember all the names, but all these by phosphonates do not create real bone growth. They do not allow for the normal metabolism in the bone that create a false coating on the bone that on bone density tests looks like you have bone, but the bones remain brittle. It also has numerous side effects, but the most dangerous, it causes necrosis or death of the jawbone. This mm. is a serious problem. So I would not, look, you don't take, you're, you don't have osteoporosis because you're short, your body is low in some pharma, pharmaceutical drug. The reason you get osteoporosis as you age is because your hormone levels decline your eating program's not good. You're not doing weight bearing. You're not, your vitamin D levels are low, vitamin K levels are low. And these are things you can naturally supplement that are natural to the system and won't cause any harmful side effects. That's go, the key. And so I, I would encourage you to do, go the natural route if you're going to, if you have osteopenia or osteoporosis, we'll be glad to help you correct that. That's right. And we do have a bone density test here at the Hotsey Health and Wellness Center at as well. So all you have to do is give us a call at 281-698-8698. That's 281-698-8698. It's a pleasure having you join us today here at Dr. Hotsey's Wellness Revolution. Information provided on this radio program is neither intended nor implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice and is not intended to replace the services of a physician, nor does it constitute a doctor-patient relationship. You should not use information from this radio program to diagnose or treat a health problem or disease without consulting with a qualified health care provider. If you have or suspect you have an urgent medical problem, promptly contact a professional health care provider or call 911. Dr. Hotze's Wellness Revolution radio program advises you to always seek the advice of a physician or other qualified health provider prior to starting any new treatment or with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Any application of the recommendations from this radio program is at the listener's discretion.